When we talk about basketball countries, USA, Greece, Spain, Serbia are some of the first ones that we think of. We usually focus on countries with a rich basketball history and lots of NBA players. This is precisely why Philippines don't stand out. Their basketball teams haven't managed to qualify for the Olympics in the past 46 years. Furthermore, the closest they have to an NBA player is Jordan Clarkson and even he is half Filipino. Still, everybody in the country loves the game and here is why. Basketball was introduced to the Philippines during the American colonial period, starting from the end of 19th century to late 1940s. The sport was brought by YMCA as a part of education overall. YMCA wanted to increase its influence and spread the American culture. The precise time when basketball became the national sport is when Philippines won 1913 Far Eastern Games. The whole nation celebrated the moment as the new heroes were born. So why basketball and not some other sport? Well, basketball doesn't require too much space. You can easily pick up the rules and start playing, although it requires a lot of time to master. It is also very fast that suits the temperament of Filipino people. And while basketball was always popular, it reached new heights during the internet era. Like most other countries, Filipinos now had access to the web which allowed them to follow favorite NBA teams. Street players started replicating moves, and Nike stood out as one of the country's most popular brands. The fact that most people speak English made it that much easier, because almost everyone is able to watch games and follow US basketball news without translation. This also led to a biological shift. Like all basketball players, Filipino players are much taller compared to an average person. So, while average Filipino is 5.4, their basketball players are 6.4. There is also a big shift in diet, the way these players are managed, scouted and so on. Filipino basketball has a bright future and it lies on players such as Kai Soto, AJ, Edu, Remy Martin. Let me start by talking a bit more about Kai Soto. Kai Soto is probably the most intriguing Filipino prospect we have ever seen. At a young age of 16, he is already making waves all across the globe. He is currently performing at FIBA Under-19 World Cup together with AJ Edu. He is a 7'2 center who will probably sign with one of the teams playing in Euroleague. In fact, there is a report that Real Madrid offered him a $1 million contract. This is actually a big move for young Soto, who while very talented, is still really raw. Euroleague will provide a much stiffer competition, slowly preparing Soto for his NBA campaign. The main plan for Soto is to be part of 2021 or 2022 NBA draft. It all depends on how he pans out as he needs much more practice. The main emphasis should be on his strength, intensity and he should also polish his game. But again, the same can be said for any 16-year-old basketball player. The most important thing is that he is ready for that kind of sacrifice and he wants to get better at his game. In terms of his advantages, he is really quick and agile, especially for someone his size. He can also knock down a3. If you are interested in learning more about this young player, I suggest you watch FIBA World Cup 2019, where Soto will likely perform. Philippines are going against Angola, Italy and Serbia, which would be a good test for young Soto. Unfortunately, at the moment of creating this video, the news is that AJ Edu was injured during FIBA Under-19 World Cup. Ariel John, or shorter AJ Edu, is another great Filipino prospect that might play in the NBA one day. He can play both small forward and power forward with his 6 foot 10 and 215 pounds. Edu is especially known for his defense and most coaches will tell you that he is really amazing. At this moment he is attending Toledo College and is performing for Toledo Rockets. During 2018-2019 season, Edu was mostly played as a reserve, averaging 14 minutes. Although his offensive numbers don't stand out, he averaged 3.6 points per game, his defense is much more impressive as he averages 1.7 blocks and 3.9 rebounds. 
Edu has a strong work ethic but needs much more improvement, especially on the offensive end. His shooting is a big problem right now. Edu is nowhere near Kai Soto, but he might make the NBA in a few years. Unfortunately, he is already 19, so his window of opportunity is much smaller, especially given his recent injury. Lastly, I want to talk about Remy Martin. This Filipino point guard draws a lot of comparison to Russell Westbrook due to his freakish athleticism and aggression. He is currently 21 and he has played for Arizona State Sun Devils for the last two years. During this previous season, Martin averaged almost 13 points, 3.2 rebounds and 5 assists. His playmaking ability has improved during this year and he is also known for his ability to snatch the ball from opponents' hands. While he was born in America, he has expressed desire to represent Filipino national squad. Interestingly enough, he still hasn't set foot on Filipino soil, but he does feel like a real Filipino. In fact, Martin is the closest one to playing in the NBA. There are so many upsides to him and league always needs capable points. Martin is a bit undersized, but he's able to compensate with some of his other natural skills. He might need another year to develop, but there is a chance he might get picked during 2020 NBA draft. Filipino basketball scene is really impressive, and given how much they've invested in the sport, it wouldn't shock me if they have several NBA players 5 to 10 years from now. It is always good when people have this much passion for the game, and it only goes to show that the sport has no boundaries. Anyway, this is my take. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, see ya!